Charlie Chaney, board member of the magazine The New Dentist. Today we are in the Rothel Clinic of West Georgia, located in Temple, uh, Temple, Georgia. We will be seeing patients today and using the physics forceps for atraumatic extractions. The physics forceps comes in a set of four. We have our lower universal, upper anterior, upper right, and upper left. With the physics forceps, you have three components of the instrument. The beak, which engages um, the legal aspect of the tooth. The bumper, which is placed uh, as deep, as far down on the vestibule as possible. And your handles, which act as the lever um, using class one lever action. The difference between using uh, conventional forceps and the physics forceps is the handling of the, uh, of the handles. You're not grasping the handles, clamping down on the forceps. Instead, you're just engaging it and rotating your wrist. Um, the, the energy comes from the rotation of the wrist and not clamping down on the forceps. We are going to extract tooth number seven, number nine, number 10 with the physics forceps. Um, even though number 10 is, is badly broken down, I believe we can access that one. As we begin this procedure, again we are extracting tooth number seven, number nine, and number 10 with the physics forceps by creating um, a lingual purchase, purchase point uh, and using the uh, upper anterior. Peritone. Raise your chin up for me a little. Okay, and open to me just a little bit more. That's the case. Let me switch sides on the bike block and go ahead and open for me. Open for me. There you go. All right. The only thing differently we, we do for the anterior is placing the purchase point on the lingual aspect or flattening the lingual aspect. All right, raise your chin for me a little bit more. Go ahead and switch to the uh, high speed. We've released the tissues, the gingiva, we've placed our lingual purchase points, flattened, flattened the lingual aspects a little bit, and now we are going to apply the physics forceps. And we'll start with number seven, opening the forceps as wide as possible, placing the beak on the lingual.
and then having the bumper rest as apically as possible in the vestibule. All right, then just applying a little rotation and being patient. Just picking up and as you can see how badly broken down this tooth was there's no clinical crown and we we're able to remove it successfully Nice deep breaths in through your nose for three and out for three. Just count three inside your head, okay? You're doing a wonderful job. Just keep breathing. There we go. Alright, just have to be patient with that one. Just as the clinical aspect, clinical crown fractured off due to decay. Pick it up with our root forceps again. Root tip forceps again. Let me see the uh, peritone, please. Oh, yeah. On my side. Thank you. All right. Once again, no clinical crown, still able to remove the tooth. Again, uh, tooth without a clinical crown, uh, extensive decay, was able to successfully be removed.